I'll know in like about 10 minutes, about 10 minutes in, 15 minutes in, whether I can hold on or not. <laughs> if I can hold on, it's Katie bar the door. Arm pump of the year? Yep. I was working on that in practice. My name is Lane Wood. I'm uh, 55 years old, and I'm an attorney by day and a motorcycle racer on the weekend. I race these for the exercise of it, to be honest, and and to challenge myself. I mean, it's pretty um, it's pretty difficult just to I'll say survive and to finish one of these races. There's a lot of work involved, um, and so I like being able to test myself. I like being able to uh, push my limits and see what my outer limits are and. Um, if I can survive with no accidents, no injuries, um, and a good workout, that's, that's what does it for me. That's what I'm in it for. Bartow race, I got a whole shot. I was out front, led for many miles, didn't have a lot of big problems. Uh, it was the first race I had run in many months. I thought it went well. I didn't win, but I did enjoy the day. I enjoyed the event, and it was very successful from my perspective. I, uh, my name is Clinton Wood and I am 22 years old. A hair scramble was basically a set course consisting between 8 to maybe up to 15 miles in a loop and you're basically running it for two hours straight as fast as you can and for as long as you can. Going through your mind before a race, it's really just trying to calm your nerves. I mean, you're, you're out there, everybody, all the bikes are running. You're thinking to yourself, man, this is either gonna go great or it's gonna go bad. And you just gotta be able to tell yourself, okay, listen, focus up. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna go out there, lay it all on the line and execute. So, you know, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, you're going to have a good year and a bad year. So that, when I was talking about how I had my best race, that was one of my best races at Bartow. This year, exact same race, but it was way down here. You know, we had some uh, crucial mistakes that we made in the beginning, and, uh, you know, that kind of gets you. You don't have a chance to place or anything like that. That's part of racing. It was a hot one, like we said earlier, and we knew it was going to be hot. Um, you know, track conditions are a little slippery because of all the grass and 
the slick dirt and everything. So uh, right off the start, uh, we got out pretty well, and then a few turns in, we had something go wrong. So you know, the whole class kind of just scooted by, but we worked our way back up and uh, just kind of you know riding for the fun of it and get what place we can. So go out and kill it next time. I had ridden bikes as a kid, um, never raced uh, as a child, uh, but I had ridden bikes. I got into uh, riding again somewhere in my uh, early 30s. Um, had a friend who was doing a hair scramble and um, I knew what they were. And I had actually done one uh, as a younger man about 13 years earlier. And I said, hey, let's sign up and let's go. So. Um, that was kind of my first one. I was 35 at the time and uh, been doing it ever since. My son Clint uh, began riding in 2004. He was about four years old. Um, I bought a, a Mini and I got him trained up. I used to run with him, beside him, behind him and uh, just try to get him self-sufficient and eventually you know he caught on and he loved it and did well at it. 2004 just basically learning all the basics of how to ride and whatnot and I had my first little bike it was a PW50 uh, great little ripper uh, but you know you kind of just get older and then you start to get better and so you want to kind of accelerate and grow out of that stage and so that's when I found out that my dad was racing and I said hey I want to join. I think my goals at least for this season uh, to be within the top 10 competitors in my class every race. You know, it's, it's hard. Some races there could be, you know, anywhere from 40 to 50 guys, and then some races only five guys come out. So it's really, it's just a mindset of being able to hold yourself accountable for each race to make sure that you bring your gay game every time you come. So the current bikes that we run, uh, they're Husqvarna TX300i, two strokes and they have the TPI system, the timed port injection. Uh, very good bike, very smooth power delivery, similar to that of a 450, but just with a little bit less weight. So a lot of guys that have raced 450s um, over the years for trail racing have actually switched over to the 300s. One, because of how much lighter the bike is. Two, the low end torque on those bikes is absolutely phenomenal. And three, who doesn't want an electric start than when they can run out on the bike? jump out in front of everybody. Brooksville is going to be a pretty fast race. You, you know, my strategy, so to speak, is another good start. Um, getting out in a good start is very important. It's not the most important thing. These are long races. There's, uh, you don't win it in the start. Uh, but at the same time, if you can uh, run out front, uh, even if you're not uh, going to ultimately win, you're much better off to run out front in the beginning um, and for as long as you can because there's just so many people or problems that won't happen in front of you if you uh, get a good start. So I'm going to be focused on getting a good start at, in Brooksville and I'll wait and see how the results come out. place uh, but I did get the whole shot again so that was a good good way to start I'd say my biggest strength is probably my starts uh, I'm yeah I'm generally the youngest guy in my class and so I still have uh, the ability to run fast on my bike when I go to start it because we do the Le Mans style starts
Straight now. Tires? I have my wrist like right on the beginning of the third lap. Uh -huh. And so the rest of the race it was just bop, bop, bop. So that's something we gotta work on. But got off to a pretty good start and uh, about the whole first lap we were really holding it together and uh, the heat just got to me uh, about midway through lap two. So I just started dropping some positions. Uh, so I got to work on endurance again because that's key for our racing and uh, we'll go back and get him next time. So, Looking forward to the day, um, you know, when he can uh, beat me head up and, you know, that's coming. And uh, I tell him, I, I know it is. I just tell him, you know, you're going to have to come and take it. Uh, I'm not going to give it to you. So uh, it's a lot of fun to be competitive like that and it's all good nature. Thank you.